let's talk about the role of the California bill drafter. In the California legislature, all types of legislative measures, bills, resolutions, and constitutional amendments, as well as amendments to any of those three types of measures, can only be introduced or processed if they are in legislative council form. And the purpose of that is to ensure consistency in California statutes in particular. This means that our nonpartisan Office of Legislative Counsel in California serves as legal counsel and bill drafters to legislators and the governor. So what's the job exactly of these bill drafters? These attorneys, between 75 and 80 of them at OLC, are formally called a deputy legislative counsel, and they work with their clients, legislators and authorized staff, legislative committee, the governor staff, executive branch agency staff, and certain non-state individuals who have been authorized by a legislator to speak with a deputy at the legislative council office. Once a bill or amendment request is submitted to the OLC, these highly respected attorneys then begin the drafting process. How is that draft bill prepared? Typically, the process of drafting a bill, a constitutional amendment, or a resolution, or an amendment to one of these begins with the legislator client who contacts a drafting attorney and presents an idea for a bill or some sort of public policy problem that the legislator wants to address, address by way of legislation. Once such a request is received by the office, the drafting attorney researches the issue and works with the legislator or staff to develop a bill draft. On occasion, the legislator may ask that the drafting attorney consult with an interested party or a sponsor, outside sponsor, or to even prepare a measure that's based on a draft that was put together by a constituent or interest group. At other times, the drafting attorney may utilize similar legislation from another state or a model act or a uniform law. Fundamentally, the bill drafter's job is to determine the objectives of the proposed legislation and to determine the goal or goals of the legislator client who's authoring the measure. Like any lawyer in public or private practice, the legislative lawyer consults with his or her client, which is the legislator, about the need or goal or objectives of the document they're preparing, a bill, for example. And it is being done, of course, at the client's request. This means the bill drafter has to be familiar with the particular area of law in which the drafter is putting together the legislation and understanding the most effective way to effectuate the legislator's intent. The bill drafter does not consult with the client about the politics of a legislative proposal, but rather will consult with his or her client to explain existing law and possible changes to that law in order to accomplish the client's objective. This consultative process includes describing possible alternative methods to accomplish the goal, describing any legal obstacles, for example, whether the proposal might violate provisions of the state or federal constitutions, and any procedural obstacles, such as the measure requiring a supermajority vote in order to be passed by the legislature and enacted into law. Ultimately, the bill drafter is going to work to incorporate the legislator client's ideas into the proper legislative format. It's not the role of the drafter to incorporate his or her own ideas. In other words, it's the legal duty of the bill drafter to prepare the legislative measure regardless of his or her own personal viewpoints on the proposal. The legislative lawyers in the Office of Legislative Counsel are impartial and nonpartisan in both their analysis and their bill drafting. After consultation with the client, the bill drafter is going to have a thorough understanding, hopefully, regarding the legislator's goal or objective. Taking into account the client's answers to the drafting attorney's questions about the proposed policy, the drafter is going to outline the general structure of the bill and how he or she is going to draft it. They may ask some preliminary questions, like which of California's 29 codes will, the, will this new measure be added into, or which sections of those codes will need to be amended or repealed. 
Sometimes the legislative lawyer will have additional discussions to resolve any policy questions or to address specific issues that arise in the language that the attorney is drafting that may or may not have been anticipated in their initial instructions. Prior to commencing bill drafting, the legislative lawyer will conduct appropriate research in order to prepare the best possible measure for the client. This research likely includes reviewing existing state statutes and regulations, any comparable laws in other states or at the federal level, as well as reviewing model or uniform acts, such as those promoted by the Uniform State Law Commission. After this research is conducted, the bill drafter is going to be able to visualize how the bill should be constructed and how the law changes or additions will work if the measure is ultimately enacted into law. This work is benefited by the legislative lawyer's understanding of federal, state, and local governments and procedures, their processes, judicial decisions, as well as the relevant area or areas of law with which the attorney works. The attorneys who work for the Office of Legislative Counsel do so in certain subject matters so that they develop a level of expertise in the statutory scheme, applicable, relevant, applicable and relevant regulations and court decisions, and they have in-depth experience in drafting statutes in those subject areas. As you might imagine, in some cases, a considerable amount of research and study of a problem may have to be done, and an area of law is required before actual legislative drafting commences. Once this research concludes, then the attorney will develop his or her plan for organizing and arranging the proposed content of the legislative measure. Clarity is a key drafting goal, and clear drafting begins with clarity of thought and clarity of construction of the statutory language. There's order and a logical sequence for legislation, and it occurs best by first putting together an outline of what you're going to draft. After outlining the proposed legislation, drafting attorneys sometimes will it, uh, review it multiple times in order to ensure the accuracy and that they are achieving the legislative, the legislator client's intent and goals. The bill drafter will consult with colleagues, receive feedback on his or her draft measure from a reviewer, and, and double check their own checklist to ensure that the best possible measure is being presented to the client legislator. Now, during some crunch times, certainly during uh, initial bill drafting session, and then around critical deadlines, a deputy legislative counsel is going to have to do a whole myriad of tasks, possibly in less than a day, even sometimes in a few hours. In the end, the work of a bill drafter is to prepare legislative measures that will best accomplish the stated goals of the drafter's client, the legislative or governor's office official, whose ideas must be put into legislative language which will ultimately find their way into the California statutes.